Hey guys, in the previous video, we have implemented integration tests by using consumer-driven approach. We have used Spring Cloud Contra with help of Spring Cloud Stream Test Binder support. As I was mentioning in the end of the previous video, the tests are not actually using Kafka or even a message broker at all. Actually, the Spring Cloud Stream test binder provides something like a fake binder for Kafka instead of a real Kafka instance. So, in this video, we are going to see how we can fully integrate our Spring Cloud contract test with a Kafka container instead of using the test binder support that Spring Cloud Stream offers to us, we are going to use test containers with a Kafka. So, before jumping to the code, I want to tell you guys that I love your support and please subscribe and leave a like if you want more contents like that. So, let's go! So now we are here on our publisher, which is our customer microservice. So let's go to our POM. The first thing that we need to do is we need to remove okay, the test binder support. So this dependency, we are going to remove it. Let's reload our project. So that's good. Now, the next thing that we are going to do, actually, we are going to grab some dependencies. The first one is the test containers, JUnit Jupyter support. Let's go here on our POM. Let's paste the dependency. Now, the next dependency is the test container for MySQL because we are using as database MySQL. Let's add the dependency. And the last one is the test containers for Apache Kafka. So let's go. Let's add the dependency. Let's reload our project. So now that we have here our dependencies, the next thing that we need to do is actually we are going to create here the configuration for our test containers. So as we are talking about Spring Cloud contract using test containers, we are not going to cover the test containers part because we already have here some videos, okay, in our channel that we have set up we have already here some videos in our channel that we have set up the test containers for Apache Kafka and also the test containers for database. So I'm just going to grab, okay, this, I'm just going to copy the code base, okay, and paste it here in our, let's say, in our producer. We have here our container for database and also we have here our container for Kafka. So now that we have here our integration tests, okay, our test container configuration, we need to find a way that will actually test if when we run, okay, our test, when we send the event, we are going to see if the event was sent to Kafka. So in that order, we need to find a way to consume the event that we are going to send when we run our contract test. So assuming that, now we need to create, for example, here, a new configuration class. Let's just call it by, for example, consumer message verifier. Now that we have here our consumer message verifier, let's just use it. Let's just annotate it as a configuration class. Let's use the self4j, which is a Lombok support that help us to log and so on. Now, the first thing that we need to do is we need to create, for example, a consumer or a Kafka listener, okay? We can use, for example, Spring Cloud Stream 1 or the Spring for Apache Kafka. So in that order, let's just use here, for example, let's just create here a new method, okay? Let's just call it like this. As argument, it will receive a consumer record, okay? And now, for example, let's just log here. So we are logging here that we are consuming from a Kafka listener, actually a real Kafka listener. So, and we need to, for example, to add, okay, these messages to our uh, Spring Cloud contract verifier. So in that order, let's just create here a collection. Let's use as a set, a set of message. And we are going to use, for example, the uh, collections synchronized set, just because it's a thread safe implementation. Okay, this so it should be a new hash set. So now that we have here our collection, let's actually just put it as a final 
now that we have here our collection of consumed messages we need to for example when we consume okay this event that we are publishing we are going to add okay to this collection to this set so in that order let's just use it like add now as we are receiving here a record we just need to transform it as a message just like this let's just log here so just like this and the next thing that we need to do is just to add here the annotation that Kafka listeners okay just like that Kafka listener so the Kafka listener we need to provide topic okay topics but in our case we are just going to provide one topic which topic we are sending the event so the topic that we are sending the event is the customer topic so in that order we are going here back here okay and we set the kafka topic it also receives a group group id the consumer group if you understand the kafka consumer group okay we can just for example say here uh, customer uh, test just like this okay so this is the way that we are going to actually uh, retrieve okay once we run our um, our contract here once the application sends okay the event okay if you remember from the previous video by using the base class okay this base class here okay once we send the event okay we are going to consume it so this this is the way that we are actually testing that we are consuming from a real okay kafka broker so next thing that we need to do is maybe the last thing okay that we need to do we need to implement okay we need to override some configurations from the spring cloud contract okay so in that order let's just use here as a message it just receives a wildcard okay and now we need to implement or to override some uh, as you can see here guys this is the spring cloud contract message verifier okay so we just need to override here two methods okay these two methods here just like this now the first thing that we need to do for example here uh, we can also let's just put it here like this let's just copy we can for example start logging here let's just use like this using message verifier because we are using actually the message verifier so as we are getting here the timeout the destination and so on okay you can read a little bit more the documentation we just need for example to iterate through a for loop okay so let's just use it like this and like it is less than timeout right and now let's increment it's just a traditional uh, for loop so what we are going to do here here we are going to see okay if for example here the consumed message actually has a message okay so in that order let's just do like this for example right and now let's just for example check if the message okay is not now okay if the message is not now now we are going to return okay the message so let's go back here so this is if the message is not now so and also for example we can uh, sleep right because we, we we are polling and we can for example use here some seconds okay and we, we are going to sleep for example one second and as we are throwing here some check exception we can just use for example here the long box sneaky throws okay this annotation is very nice and for example here else let's just use for example the same okay stream that find any or else let's say now so if it's a now here of, of course our test will fail okay because we are validating here that the message is not now so because we are testing if we actually are sending are producing the event to a kafka topic okay so that's why we are using we are consuming okay what we are sending in order to assure that we are sending the correct message to the correct topic and yeah doing like this now we need just to call okay this method here let's just receive and now in the receive we can just set for example the same destination we can say okay for example here right the timeout let's say it will be um, 
yeah five yeah five seconds okay let's use here the time unit seconds and also let's provide the contract so this is what we have here okay guys because we are publishing okay when we run our test okay when we run our test we actually are publishing to a topic okay and we need to assure that we are actually uh, publishing in that topic by using a consumer so here we are consuming the message that we are publishing in that topic okay so in that order spring cloud construct okay overriding this method okay will uh, use okay the correct uh, let's say uh, configuration not the provided uh, by default so now that we have it like this we have our uh, test containers here set up and we have also our consumer message verifier i think uh, the next thing that we can do we are just going to compile let's actually use the maven and clean and install just like this so now that we have here our build is okay let's go back to our test let's see okay everything is okay now we can start for example putting some breakpoints in order to see the behavior okay let's put a breakpoint here and here we have a log okay before running our test actually we need to specify okay let me just for example remove it like this okay and now we need to specify that our test is using the integration test support okay integration test based config that we have just created okay just like this so adding to our base class okay the integration test configuration it will use the test container so when we create a new customer when we publish okay the event because this this method here okay it publish a message okay to apache kafka it will use the real okay kafka container instance that we are providing here so in that order let's go back to our test and let's run our test in debug mode so now we can see okay we are here so the first thing that we have to assume is that our um, consumer message verifier is actually being invoked okay so now let's go through iteration let's sleep because the message is null now let's go to second iteration as we can see okay now we got some message the first iteration actually when we consume here okay like this so let's go next okay let's just jump now we are using okay now our uh, test validation okay the, the 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 test case that spring cloud contract created for us is being okay validated so as we can see the test passed so what we have achieved here is the simple fact that once our application let me just show you guys once again okay once we run our test base class by using the integration test config base class okay which contains the containers for kafka and that uh, database okay actually when we run this test by using spring cloud contract like this when we send the event to this topic okay we are validating okay that actually we are sending to the real topic okay because we are using here the kafka listeners and as you can see the kafka listeners consumed the message okay and add okay and add to the uh, let's say like to our collection okay and here okay we are using or we are overriding the spring cloud contract implementation in order to assert okay so this is what we have done here so our test now is producing the event to a correct topic and actually our microservice is using a kafka broker okay a kafka cluster or broker so this is what we need to do before sending our code in production we need to create a test we need to validate that actually the kafka okay because as we are using event-driven microservice and our microservice is 
is using Kafka, we need to assure that Kafka is up, okay? Our microservice is connecting to Kafka, okay? Then we create our tests, our tests we run, we produce even to a Kafka, okay? Like a simulation of a real Kafka production, which is provided by our test containers, okay? So we send the event to Kafka, the real Kafka, and then we do some assertions that the content of the event is correct, okay? So the payload is correct and so on. So guys, don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to get more contents like that because they are very rare in the internet, okay? So we are going to test in the next video the consumer side. So bye-bye.